TB Joshua sends important message to Donald Trump over the U.S. election 2020. The founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Skoan, Prophet TB Joshua, says United States President Donald Trump should accept his defeat at the U.S. election 2020. Recall that Trump was uh, who was seeking a second term in the office on the platform of the Republican Party was second was sounded defeated by the president elect Joe Biden, but he was refused to accept the outcome of the election, alleging that uh, the U.S. election uh, 2020 was rigged in favor of the former U.S. Vice President. In one of his sermon, T.B. Joshua said elections in any democratic country should never be about one person, as the country is bigger than any single individual in what appears to be a direct statement to Donald Trump, true, although he didn't mention the name of Trump. T.B. Joshua in a tweet on the microblogging site tweeted via his Twitter handle stressed that whatever happened, losers of elections must accept the outcome and then look for the future. According to the prophet, politics, campaign, and elections in any democratic country in the world are never about one person. It is about the country we care for and love. This is what he said again. Whatever happens, we must accept the outcome and then look for the future. To Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Don't forget, democracy is all about accommodation. All Democrats must value the pro process of democracy more than the product. TB Joshua's statement is coming after the earlier predicted after earlier predicted the outcome of the US election, which seems to favor Joe Biden, uh, because he said he had something to say else to say, but after a new US president have has been inaugurated. Wow. This is coming from uh, T B Joshua. There was a report uh, about a prophecy, what T.B. Joshua prophesied that what we, about what will happen in the U.S. election. Well, all, all fingers are pointing at T.B. Joshua that uh, he does not even like uh, Donald Trump. But his reason remains with him. He did not want to disclose his reasons why he has some, uh, uh, some feelings for uh, Joe Biden and not for uh, Donald Trump. We still want to know how people feel about uh, what Donald Trump has to say. I mean, what T.B. Joshua has to say on this new story. This one is saying that funny prophet, he's afraid of prophecy to his own president and the bad government on, in his own country. Well, this freedom of speech According to him, he said that uh, in a democracy, in a more democratic uh, country, there is freedom and there is, there is accommodation for all in a, democrat, in a democratic uh, uh, country. And uh, this one is saying that he is afraid of his own country. He is afraid to speak up. Why is he afraid to speak up? There is freedom of speech. There is freedom of expression. He should be able to speak and say what he sees about uh, Nigeria. Well, he's been careful. To me, I think he's been careful not to put himself into any form of trouble. This one is saying that what is your business with American election? You call yourself man of God, T.B. Joshua. Do you suppose to hate Donald Trump because have you fully supported Christian uh, in anything in the world? But you still hate him. A fake prophet. No chance for you 
to travel to Israel anymore. Fake prophet. Wow. No chance for him. Is that why he does not like a uh, uh, Donald Trump? Well, I know the truth will be unfolded one day and uh, everybody will know what is really going on. This one is in. Tell us who is in Azorok. Before you talk, tell us who is in Azorok. They want prediction from TV Joshua. They want to know who really is in the Azorok because that is the question that has been lingering in the mind of everyone in the country. Everyone wants to know who is in Azorok. But who will tell you who is there? Nobody had to see, had very, very hard to get. Uh, this one is saying that uh, it is a pity that Nigerians do not know what God has given to us. Some have forgotten so soon what happened. Some uh, years ago when the man of God, T.B. Joshua, gave prophecy about Nigerian election, many souls were sent on a journey of no return prematurely. So, no one should blame my mentor, the prophet, for not announcing what God showed him about Nigerian leaders. God will continue to protect and bless Prophet T.B. Joshua on daily basis. In Jesus' name, that is what this one is saying, praising our Prophet T.B. Joshua and telling everyone not to condemn him. Uh, because he has refused to say what God showed him about Nigeria. But he has been talking in parables. He has been speaking in parables. Just that he did not, uh, you know, come out to say it directly. Respect for the senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Baba, may, be, may the grace of God in your life to us the, that understand the spirit of prophet. Well, I pray that the Lord will grant you we grant them hearing hearts. Wow. That is it. Even the Bible says that touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They shouldn't condemn any prophet for not speaking out. There shouldn't be any insult. There shouldn't be any hate speech on any man of God. This one is thing that are those of you who made comments on TB against TB Joshua lack knowledge. You guys are sentimental with regional, well, with regional dog deeper without showing that what God needs from the people of the world is love. Either you are a Christian or a Muslim. Never support someone because he stands with you for your religion and hates the other religion because he is not of God's way. Well, what did this person is saying that uh, we are one body. We shouldn't hate one uh, person, one leader, because he supports uh, a particular religion. They shouldn't hate uh, Donald Trump, you know, Joe Biden, because he he is uh, from uh, he does not support Christian or so, or which they shouldn't like uh, Donald Trump in place of Joe Biden, and that they shouldn't condemn. Uh, T.B. Joshua, for because they lack knowledge, they shouldn't be sentimental. T.B. Joshua cannot prophesy to themselves, not more of us. Well, be that as it may, we still want to know your comments, your thoughts, and your views on this new story. Uh, thank you for listening, and I will see you on the other news as you still drop by your comments and your opinions. Don't forget to subscribe to Tarish TV. Bye for now.